Hey, Freddie with CJ Pony Parts. If you've been following our YouTube channel, you know we primarily do installation videos, but a lot of people have asked us about general maintenance. So today we're going to start a new video series on how to keep your Mustang running good and looking good, and we're going to start off by doing an oil change on our 2015 GT here. Ford recommends for the 5 liter to take 8 quarts of 5W20, the V6 to take 6 quarts of 5W20, and the EcoBoost to take 5.7 quarts of 5W30, all in either synthetic blend or full synthetic. Today we're going to be using this Motorcraft FL500S oil filter. This fits all 2011 through 2016 3.7 V6s and 5 liter V8 Mustangs. For this oil change, you will need a lift or a jack and jack stands or ramps, a drain pan, a quarter inch ratchet, a seven millimeter socket, a three eighths ratchet, a 15 millimeter socket, or a 15 millimeter wrench. So we're going to start off by draining the oil in our 15 here. You want to make sure you do it when the oil is warm so the oil comes out nice and easy. The drain plug on this oil pan is a 15 millimeter and you want to make sure you have an oil catch to catch all the oil. Now when you're removing the oil plug, you want to apply force upward and then once you have all the threads out, you pull the plug out. But keep pushing up. This will help you create a lesser of a mess. So I have all the threads out, it's kind of loose. When you remove the drain plug, take a look at the bolt and the seal and make sure it's not damaged. If it's leaking or if it's damaged, replace the bolt if needed. But in our case, the bolt and seal are good, so we're going to reinstall it. Now that all the oil is drained, we're going to reinstall our plug. Thread it in by hand first. You do not want to strip the threads on this oil pan. Now we're going to tighten the drain plug, but once again, you don't want to make this too tight. You do not want to risk stripping the threads on this oil pan. Now we're going to change the oil filter. In order to get to the oil filter, you have to remove this access panel, which is held on by a 7 millimeter bolt. Now we can easily get to the oil filter. Now we're going to remove the oil filter. Depending on who did your oil change last, you might actually need a tool to remove the filter depending on how tight it is. But in our case, we don't need a tool. And here's a little trick to make a little bit less of a mess. Put a bag around the oil filter when it starts to get loose and then loosen it so the bag catches the oil. There we go. And then drain the filter in the pan. Now if any oil drips, you want to clean it up before installing the new oil filter. Now while there's arguments both ways, we like to put oil on our o-ring before installing the filter. Now we're going to install our new oil filter, but before you install it, you want to make sure that there's no o-ring on the oil filter block. You want to make sure that the o-ring is still in the old filter. If you install this with an o-ring already on there, it will not seal properly. And you just want to tighten this by hand. You do not need to tighten it with an oil filter wrench or you might not be able to get it off next time. Now you can reinstall the oil filter access panel. Now we can add the new oil. Now we're going to remove the oil cap to put the new oil in. It's not entirely necessary, but if you want to lower your chance of getting a mess everywhere, you want to use a funnel when adding the new oil. Now you can remove the funnel and reinstall the oil cap. Now even though you followed directions and filled it up with the proper amount of oil, you still want to double check the dipstick and make sure it's filled up properly. 
So you can see that we have the proper oil level on here. We can reinstall the dipstick. All right, now we're gonna reset the oil change light. You wanna turn the car on? You wanna go to the main menu in your car and go down to settings. Then go to vehicle settings. Reset. And hold to reset for the oil change. Now typically your percentage will be a lot lower, but in our case of our 2015, it's going on a road trip soon. So we're changing the oil before we go on the road trip. Now the last thing we're gonna do before this oil change is complete is we're gonna start the car and make sure there's no leaks. Okay, so our car appears to not be leaking any oil. We can go ahead and turn off the engine and our oil change is complete. So now that you've completed your oil change, you wanna make sure that you dispose of your oil properly. Most auto parts stores will gladly take your used oil. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a future episode. This oil change should only take between 20 and 30 minutes, and before you know it, you'll be heading down the road.